the world that is surrounding us is an external world that is reflecting through a filter of physicality the godly light of the maker. Through the outside world to our eyes, it has to go through at least 32 different kinds of screens and filters that are blocking and shading the light of our maker for it to be digested by us and perceived and understand by our minds. But when we are connecting our maker from within, not through the screens of the external world that is surrounding us from outside, that light is coming to our mind without many screens of separation, just through one test that is still complex, but not as hard as recognizing Hashem in the outside world. The outside world is full of coverings, but inside our minds, there is only one challenge that we need to pass for us to be able to see Hashem in perfection. And it is called the flipping sword. The flipping sword is standing in the entrance to the Garden of Eden and all the time flipping and cutting. It's a sword with two sharp sides that are cutting to both directions. And the only way for us to be able to pass through that gate is by listening to the voice of truth. Because truth, there is only one. And to be cut by that flipping sword, you need to listen to both of its sides because it's flipping. If you find yourself that you fell into confusing thoughts that are flipping, that are all the time changing, yes to do, not to do, should I, shouldn't I? If you're doubting yourself, it means that you are now being cut, chopped to pieces by that flipping sword. But when you stop and you ask yourself what the truth is, in reality, I have two options. I need to choose life. I need to choose good. The free choice is in the hand of the person to choose and to tilt the path to the right way from complete wrong and evil, complete darkness and pain to a world of prosperity and great success. It depends in our free choice of each and every one of us as an individual. And we need to choose right. We need to choose our choices with honesty to ask ourselves, but what is the truth? And words of truth are easily recognized. It's a power that was given to us by our maker, the power to recognize the truth. When we read Bereshit, we saw over there that Adam and Eve and their children were exiled, rejected from the Garden of Eden. And we find ourselves behind that flipping sword that is blocking the access to go back to the Garden of Eden. And the Tree of Life is the legacy and the generations that started from Adam and Eve passed to their children and their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren and on and on until today. And that inner oak of life is our connection through our souls to our father's and mother's souls that connected us to Adam and Eve. And that inner oak of life that lives within us is still in the Garden of Eden. So how can that be that we were exiled from the Garden of Eden if that tree of life lives within us? It's only that our awareness was kicked out and exiled from the Garden of Eden. But we are still inside the garden. We can see that there is an inner access to that heavenly tree. Because his branches are really the ones that you are. 
You are a fruit. You are a branch. You are one of many beautiful rivers that maintains life, that comes from the divine and highly source of life, Chai HaChaim, the one who lives life itself, the source of life, the eternal maker of our universe, that dresses himself in us. And we should believe in ourselves and recognize that greatness that we've been blessed with to be that oak of life. So for us to connect to that amazing blessing, we should focus on our inside, on our inner voice of truth that is always guiding us to connect and to love and to cherish and to appreciate and to use our good attributes and to reject all forces of negativity and darkness and to become one with the rest of the branches of the tree, the souls that came out of Adam and Eve, to be one with them, and by that to be completely united with our one Maker, Hashem Barach. May His light shine upon us all, for us to become one with Him also in our physical body, and to experience the complete redemption in our days. Amen. Can you hear that song?